just one little patch of snow on the ground there. You can't really see it. Now there's going to be a huge storm. And this is the outcome of the following day. Originally it was just that little patch of snow over there. Then it looks like the whole ground is covered in frost. Alright guys, so I'm back. So yeah, so I, I thought I... Whoa, look at the tree! Look at that tree moving. Okay, I, I actually, that was... That was not a good place to show the camera right there, but it was moving a lot just a moment ago. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I thought I'd have to wait till next week, but now there's a lot of snow, so apparently I'm staying home today. So, <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna finish now. Let's go. Right, so I think that we're still on the part one then. I I thought that like part one had like parts one to four, and part two would have like parts five to seven, but no, it, it, it looks like it just it looks like part one just has most of it and then I guess part two just has part seven then. Put that in there. Blap. Why'd the theme song automatically start playing? Wait, 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 I didn't select anything yet. Yeah, okay, yeah, that is the episode I want, episode five. Diddling, 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 diddling. I'm actually curious how they're gonna get away from this Dalek. What the what the heck just happened? So I just had some rope it off a balcony. So they unite with Victoria and everything's all happy and rainbows and then Jamie gives them a handkerchief and that fades over to the doctor who I guess is still trying to copy that human factor thing. Who's this dude? Where did this guy come from? Hmm? That's something that the first doctor normally says. So the doctor is working with that guy, and then he's trying to help the doctor, and then all of a sudden he keeps... It. So the creepy dude who was smoking and not giving a crap then decides to try and take out this watch, and I guess hypnotize them or something? Whoa, whoa, okay, I think she's hypnotized. So Jamie and Victoria are trying to get back in the way of this huge, cool sword fight stuff. Wow, oh, so epic. Yeah, uh, yo, he's not a robot. Well, you are. <laughs> They're literally having a friendship breakup. So the doctor makes these three Daleks. And for a moment, it looks like these dogs are gonna like do something to the doctor, but then no, now the now the doctor thinks that they're playing a game. And oh, I said I know I said no more animation, but look at this, <laughs> pushing the doctor around. So I guess the cliffhanger for part five is like, what is exactly happening around here? This last one says empty title. What does that mean? Okay, I guess we're flipping over to disc two now. So here we have episode 6, episode 7 in extras, and an empty title again. Okay, but why does episode 6 show that little bit of a theme song right there? Oh, oh, because it starts instantly. Oh, okay, and... So the doctor gives them all names being Alpha, Lita, and Omega by writing those symbols on them. So you might be wondering what the heck just happened and apparently the doctor did exactly what the Daleks told him to do. He took three of them and put the human factor into them. But what the Daleks didn't think of is that now they have what makes us human in them. They no longer have the Dalek factor. So now they're curious, and, and, and now, now they like question stuff, and now they're acting like children and stuff like that. They're happy Daleks. So the dogs earlier made an agreement to tell him how to turn metal into gold. That's so stupid, and then, but now he can't do that anymore because something, and now he's just throwing a hissy fit. <laughs> the Dalek Dalek is talking to the human Dalek, and the Dalek Dalek is just like, You're a human Dalek, we're gonna make you Dalek Dalek- Oh, they're gonna make them Dalek Dalek again, that's not good. So, 
This is the Dalek Emperor. The yeah, and Jamie says, look at the size of that thing, which has been looked at by many people. Okay, people took that and bended it in the worst way possible. Kids watching this, Jamie said nothing wrong, okay? Just everyone, all the Whovians who laugh at that line is just an idiot, okay? Because, like, Jamie, all that Jamie said was look at the size of that thing, and then everyone looked at that and went, oh, we know how to make that funnier. Yeah, <laughs> So the Dalek Emperor reveals that they were tricking the Doctor the whole time. Now the Daleks have their TARDIS, and this whole time the Doctor knew that if he put the human factor into the Daleks, then they would become human and question orders, and convince other Daleks to question because that's what humans do. But it turns out that the Daleks were actually one step ahead of the Doctor this whole time, and they just wanted the Doctor to figure out what's in the human factor, so that they could figure out what's in the Dalek factor, and now they're going to use the Doctor and his TARDIS to spread the Dalek factor to all the humans on Earth. Prepare for part six. Every time that I try to clap my hands like this, it just. It just gets mess, messed up. What does the doctor do when he's bummed out like this? Oh, you know. Uh oh, it's a human Dalek. Uh oh, he's in trouble. So the Daleks try and tell him that they're gonna tell him how to do the thing that he wanted to know, and, and the doctor's like, if you allow your life, don't go in there, and he's like, nah, whatever, and then now he's got Dalek factor in him. Sounds absolutely great. So the creepy guy who was smoking and not giving a crap, who's now the Dalek guy, is hypnotizing the doctor into seeing the TARDIS in the doorway, and then the doctor naturally walks towards the doorway because he's hypnotized, and Jamie wakes up and he tells him, like, no, doctor, don't go, don't be an idiot, no. No, the doctor's doing it, for some reason he's, like, flinching and stuff. Why is his head twitching? I, I, I don't get it. But anyway, so now the doctor is supposedly a Dalek doctor. Eh, boy. The Doctor finds out on the end in order to outsmart the Daleks, sometimes planning doesn't work and you just have to wing it. As it turns out, the machine had no effect on the Doctor at all. The Doctor's not a Dalek Doctor, he's still Doctor, Doctor, or just Doctor. I don't know, but... The machine was designed to take out any drop of human factor and replace it with Dalek factor, but the Doctor isn't human, he's filled with Time Lord factor. So the machine didn't have any drops of human factor to replace with Dalek factor at all. So the Doctor was unaffected, he was just pretending to be a Dalek Doctor. To trick the Dalek, Daleks, or Daleks, I don't know. He still doesn't say Gallifrey or Time Lord yet, the writers didn't come with that up, all that he says is... I'm not from Earth. But anyway, so the Doctor tampers with the machine, pretending to be Dalek Doctor, and makes it so that instead it'll take out the Dalek Factor and replace it with Human Factor, thus leaving no effect on the humans or the human Daleks. And then he says that a Dalek question in order, and when the Dalek Emperor asks what they're gonna do, the Doctor suggests getting all the Daleks to go through the thing that's gonna make them Dalek Factor so that the Dalek Daleks won't be affected at all and the human Daleks will become Dalek Daleks. But instead, of course, it makes all the Dalek Daleks human Daleks and has no effect on the human Daleks. So now, the place is filled with human Daleks. The single best, most possible thing that they could have showed all those soldiers fighting in wars. Everyone, question your orders. Take this message tone to the end of your days. Always question orders. So the Daleks blow this black Dalek's head off because, you know, they killed their friend. Friends are good. And then, you know, Ugh, what is that? What the heck is that? Exactly. Everything was all hopeful and stuff like that, and then over the last like 10 minutes it was all like, like the dogs were fighting and, and then there's just 
fire and then everyone's dying and it's like a massive war zone and now everyone's dead. Kemal's dead. Victoria's dad is dead. Maxible is dead. Although in many games he was kind of a jerk, but he died at the Dalek Factor, so really his last moment as human was being excited because he was finally gonna know the secret and then walking through the door. Oh my goodness, and now Victoria's dad is dead, so now Victoria's gonna go with them in the TARDIS. That was just kind of a line that they dropped out of nowhere. And then Oh my god, the, the, I don't know what to feel. I felt all hopeful and now it's all like death and stuff. <laughs> You're gonna watch this story, which I'm gonna recommend it definitely, yes. But as soon as there's a cute little moment where the doc's like, why, why, the Emperor must explain, then just pause it right there. Story's done. Everything's all sunshine and rainbows. There's no fire and death. But uh, the doctor does say this is the final end, which obviously isn't, but this is the Fine finale for season four, actually, and we don't see the docs again until season nine. This was actually supposed to be the final end of the docs in Doctor Who, because they were going to make a spin off on the Daleks later, so then the docs weren't going to be in Doctor Who anymore, but then that spin off didn't really work out. I got to real quickly wrap this up. Thanks again so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, and I know that you enjoyed it. If you didn't like, please leave a dislike, so, now I know that, so that I know that you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below if you liked the channel, like this feels awesome, get some motivation and encouragement. If you didn't like, please leave a comment down below, so why you didn't like it, so I can prove it next time, otherwise it won't be able to prove it. Just give it dislike as if it were like. And and subscribe so that you know when my next video comes out. Thanks guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. we -bye. review story number 38, The Tomb of the Sidemen.